Well, the job site is now ready to lay blocks. We did the pour and uh, I've stripped off all of the forms and there is the monolith and the, uh, the pier, the base of the pier and the monolith. So, uh, and the footers are done and it's, uh, it's all pretty good. Here are the footers with the rebars that are sticking up that are going to be supporting the first layer of blocks. Below ground at this end, just like we wanted. Pulled out all the dirt dams. No need for them anymore. Here's the foundation, the big block of concrete. Uh, chunks out of the corners is where the 2x4s were in the form. There's the tube huh. for the wires. And there's the screw that came out that held the pipe in place while the concrete was drying. The only uh, issue that I did have is that uh, when that form broke and the concrete fell out, well, when they continued pouring, I guess they went a little too fast because uh, they didn't mix it up good and there was a pretty good sized bubble. Uh, so I got some mortar and I filled it all in. And uh, I don't believe there'd be any issue with uh, structure. So uh, as long as it's good and flat, it will not show beneath the carpet. The surface of the column shows the the uh, wood grain from the chipboard. The concrete company guy told me that I uh, should have used marine plywood. Probably would have been smoother, but that's not real important. 